And now, with news that Iran is stepping up its nuclear program, we cross to Richard Johnson, who is inexplicably in a children's playground. Richard? Thanks, Tom. Yeah, I I couldn't stand outside the headquarters of the Iranian nuclear program as we don't know where it is, so we thought, nuts to it, let's go to the park. Joining me now to discuss Iran is Professor Esmeralda O'Leary, who is an expert at answering questions. Hello. Professor, in your expert opinion, how likely do you think it is that Iran possesses nuclear weapons? I think it's extremely unlikely. Pretty much impossible, in fact. But what about in the future? After all, they are building a nuclear reactor. Yes, but to make a nuclear bomb, you need weapons-grade uranium, and this reactor will not use that. So what you're saying is, if someone gave them some uranium, they could make a nuclear bomb? Uh, well, only if it's weapons-grade, which is extremely tricky to manufacture. What if someone gave Iran a ready-made nuclear bomb? Could they have one then? What? What, What if... Someone stole one of our nuclear bombs and shipped it over to Iran in a stealth dinghy. Could they have one then? Look, that's not going to happen. What if the Iranian president is controlling Vladimir Putin with one of those multi-purpose remote control things and getting him to point nuclear weapons at this playground right here, right now? Could they have one then? Look! Iran's not... But they could have. No, look, they've not... Yeah, but they could have. They haven't. Yeah, but they could have. But they haven't. Yeah, but it's not impossible, is it? Well, maybe not impossible, but it's not likely. Not likely, but still possible, I see. Look... Thank you, Professor. So it's clear Iran does have a nuclear bomb and we're all going to die. Back to you, Tom. Could they have one then? 